It's also this huge, I think, psychic thing. It's just a, it's a, a source of wonder. It's a source of right. that's what I was an inspiration. You know, recreation. recreation mm -hmm. You know, just beauty. I would definitely consider myself lucky. I mean, I <laughs> grew up in the best state. Um, it really doesn't get better than California. But I had the privilege of growing up being very interactive with my environment. I was born and raised in San Francisco, and both of my parents were really active with the San Francisco Bay. One sailed regattas on Fridays, and the other woke up at 6 a.m. to swim in the bay. Um, so it was really best of both worlds. I was both in and on the water, which is why I think I'm so passionate about the ocean. If something is being threatened, if something that you love is being threatened, you're going to do everything in your power to protect it. I mean, it's simple. We need to care and we need to speak up and we need to be active. This isn't some drill. We don't have a plan B. I'm really grateful that I was raised with such heightened awareness of the ocean because if I hadn't, I don't think I would have cared as much. I wouldn't have realized how valuable this precious ecosystem is and truthfully, how we're rapidly destroying it. So you're talking, of course, to two biologists, so you know, we <laughs> teach this curriculum. The importance of biodiversity. Mm -hmm. But that's stability. Right, stability, right. We use a Jenga model, like using a Jenga game. Mm -hmm. So if each of the pieces represents different species within a community, removing a certain number, like creating extinctions, creates an overall instability. Let's say a certain species of fish can eat a variety of different fish, right? If we're eliminating one, but they could still have all these others, that's not as great of an impact. Less biodiversity and they only have one thing they eat. Mm -hmm. If that is limited, it affects yeah. more directly. And certain species are keystone species. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just like the, the Jenga blocks. Right. Some the one you can piece. pull out and it's still stay, but some you just pull out that one and boom. And it's it's such a cascade of events mm -hmm. that it's almost impossible to predict. So what can we do? or what are people in our community doing? JC Arguello, a fellow student and very close friend, is aiming his own senior project towards education and awareness about air pollution. First step is changing the like, public mindset of, of people that, um, making them more aware of the issues and the health impacts that air pollution has on us and uh, the environment. I think this statement that JC says is really important, and I realize that's how I want to focus not only this video, but how I want to focus my life. Our exposure and education about the environment and the resonating impacts of just one person is the root of the solution. With awareness comes responsibility. I feel it is each of our duties to do what we, as citizens and as Californians, can do. We cannot, under any circumstances, allow trash in the oceans. And we have, we have to make sure laws protect oceans, but then we as citizens have to make sure that we aren't, you know, right. putting piles of So, the, I mean, we've taken some right steps, like the plastic bag bang, mm -hmm. that was big. But we also need to understand that when we use chemical fertilizers in our yards, right. those go into the waterways and those wind up in the ocean and those call that, uh, cause algal blooms and those cause all kinds of problems. Right. Um, well, on an individual level, we can um, educate ourselves on, on these issues. Uh, we can become more aware. There's pl uh, plentiful resources online. We need to pay attention to the fish that we eat and make sure that we only buy fish that we know is produced in a sustainable way. Right, sustainable from responsible way. fishing mm -hmm. practices. Yeah, and you know, so just support the, support those with our pocketbooks, <laughs> those that are doing the right thing. Also with our lifestyles. And with our lifestyles. You can also um, choose uh, to uh, consume differently. You can ride, uh, ride your bike or purchase an electric car instead of, um, or a hybrid car instead of like a gas powered car. I chose two different types of educators, both who dictate the conversation of the world's greatest gift, the classroom, to emphasize how this awareness and this education transcends all boundaries. We are all capable of making a difference. Now I realize I can't convince everyone about the importance of the ocean in just one video, but let me leave you with this. Picture a world without culture, a world without stability, 
A world without community, a world without imagination. A world without blue. Picture a world without the ocean. Convince you yet? On a subway train before the dawn Said you couldn't stay and wait for me Said you love, said you love Said you love, said you love